In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the yield strength using the 0.2% offset method in Excel. So we've got some data here, and the first thing we're going to have to do is plot a stress strain curve for this data. And to do that, you're going to press insert, and then the key to this is selecting the appropriate type of chart. So you want to go to charts here, and then we've got the scatter. And I want to insert the scatter with smooth lines. So let's select that. I'm then going to right click and I want to select select data. Then I'm going to press add and we want a series name. So let's just select here stress strain curve. Then I want some X values. So make sure that the strain is on the X axis. So let's select all of the strain data, press the down arrow here. Then we want the Y series values, and we're going to select all of our stress, and then we're going to press OK. And then we're going to press OK again, and we've now got a basic stress strain curve. Now, what we want to do is look at the stress strain curve very carefully, and let's perhaps make it a bit bigger so it's easier to see. And we can see that we've got a straight line, and then it kind of goes off a straight line. And it's starting to stop being a straight line somewhere in the middle of 30 to 40. So let's call it 35. So when we look at our data, we've got 35 here. So we're looking at basically this region here up to 35 as being the linear region. So I want to plot this out and find the gradient. So let's press insert. And then if I just do a simple scatter graph, I'll get this graph here. Now, this is the elastic region. So if we find the gradient of this graph, that's going to give you your Young's modulus. So let's select a point here. And then if we right click, it's got add trend line, and it'll helpfully default to linear. We want to find the equation of this line. So we're going to press display equation on chart. And then we can also press the display r squared value on chart as well. We're getting r squared of basically well, in this case, exactly one. It's a bit of rounding here. Though the lower your R squared value is, the less your data is fitting on a perfect straight line. So if you're getting a very low value of R squared that's far away from one, you want to check whether you've included perhaps too many points and it's not actually a straight line or double check your data. So the key number that we want to take from here is this 2098.4. That 2098.4 is our Young's modulus. So we want to take a note of that. So we're going to put that in a cell down here, 98.4, and then we're going to be using that a little bit later. So I'm going to move this out of the way because we're basically done with that for now. I want to move this graph over so there's some space here. The next step is to calculate your 0.2% offsets. And this is extremely simple. So in this one here, I'm just going to press equals. And then I'm going to take the strain and I'm going to add 0 0.002. And that's very simple. And then I'm going to pull this all the way down to the bottom. The bottom values are not going to be very useful, but I'm just filling them in for um, simplicity. Then here I want to find a line that's going to be exactly um, parallel to the elastic region, the linear part of the stress strain curve. And the way to ensure that it's definitely parallel is to use the gradient of the line. And that will ensure, because the two lines are going to have the same gradient, they're definitely going to be parallel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the original strain, not the offset strain, the original strain, be very clear about that. And I'm going to multiply that by the Young's modulus. And I've got this B22 here. And if I select here and then press button F4, what it will do is automatically put in these dollar signs. So that means as I pull the data down to copy the formula, it's not going to change the location. It's always going to use B22, and it's always going to multiply by the value in there, which is our Young's modulus. So let's press Enter, and then I'm going to pull this all the way down. I'm not actually going to use all of these data points, but I'll just fill it in for completeness. The next thing we need to do is actually plot our 0.2% offset on our stress strain. So I'm going to select here, and then if I right click, I'm going to find select data. I want to add another series to it, so press add. Let's series name, ignore the fact it moves the graph around a, bit, a little bit. So let's just call it offset for simplicity. Then we're going to select our X values. So if we select our offset strain, I don't want to select all of them. Perhaps just going down to about here might be right. You're just guessing a bit. You may you can change it later. And then here we're going to try and line that up. 
with what we selected before. So I believe I went down to about here. So hopefully that matches up. And we're getting a second line that's a little bit offset. You can see it's a bit um, close. So let's perhaps move this to the corner. And I want to make this quite large. So let's make that very large. And you can see we've got our original line and then we've got a second line and the intercept here, can zoom in a little bit, this intercept is going to be your yield strength. And so by doing it this way, you can find your yield strength by just reading off the graph. So if this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe below and check out my other videos on analyzing stress strain curves. And finally, thank you very much for watching.